<laughs> after harvest, when the beets were all harvested, we always had some cattle and sheep on hand, but Dad would usually buy some more or even contract with somebody to bring in, in other cattle and sheep to graze off those beet tops because there was a lot of food value in those. But one thing that the beet tops caused is that the cattle and the sheep got them caught in their throat. They try to swallow. They can't really chew the, the tops. They're kind of heavy, you know, and they can't chew them up in little pieces enough. So sometimes they get them caught in their throat and we'd have to bring an animal into the, the barn, put it in a stanchion, and with some mineral oil, run a hose down their throat to dislodge it. And sometimes you couldn't get to it quick enough and the animal would die. And another problem that developed was uh, you leave furrows, like they're not the, quite that pronounced, but it's furrows where the dirt is mounted and then there's a little furrow. And when the sheep or sometimes the cattle would lay down, they couldn't get up. They'd lay in those furrows and I had to keep a saddle horse saddled every day and that's my job to ride the fields about every hour or two hours and tip the sheep back up because you can see when they can't get up because they're laying on their side and you can see the marks in the dirt where they've been thrashing and it just like uh, something that's blowing in the wind and eventually it makes a little groove, you know, and you'd see where the sheep, you tell easily the ones that can't get up and so you'd have to just go tip them up. It's just that simple, just grab them by the wool, <laughs> lift them up and then they can get up and struggle away, you know, and glad they're alive. But. So that was a common thing, but uh, mm. great food value in those beet tops and the greens that go with it. So that was an important thing and yeah. lots of extra livestock were bought or brought in during that time and during the winter because they could paw down through the snow and still get some of those beet tops during the winter. Yeah, that's a lot of value.